Welcome into Thurston Middle School. I'm Adam Traster. And I'm Michael Givino. And we are broadcasting for the Westcat Channel, the Westwood Media Center and Television Network. And today we have Westwood versus Norwood, a fifth grade matchup between the A teams in Division Two. And we are underway. Norwood controlled the tip. 15 driving strong to the right. Way up doesn't go. Good board by number 20. Fast action here early there. on. A little wild with it. And we got a foul. Number 12's going with number, yes, number 12's going on the free throw line. Um. Connor makes the first one. Connor would like to go to Duke, and he swims for a competitive swim team. And we got a foul on White, and it's going to be Norwood Ball coming down. That's number 14 for Norwood. Lucas Rodriguez passing it in. To number 15, Caden Sheehan. Number 30 is doing a good job defending. And number 10 for Norwood gets a bucket. It's staying this way. Number 30 for Westwood inbounding the ball. That is Tyler Korchin. Tyler goes to Sheehan. Uh, would like to go to Duke and plays baseball and football. He has a dog named Roman and loves to go on vacation and play video games. Got another foul on Norwood here. Let's see what Westwood has coming out of this out of bounds play. Looks like we got a stack. Down. Wow. Good bank wow. shot. That play was executed to perfection there. By number 33 there, Max Barnett. Goes to Sheehan. Plays soccer, tennis, and golf. Very fast paced play here early on. It's a lot of ball movement. And what a block from number 22 right there. That was Patrick O.T. And he, as we say that, makes the layup. It's good fast place. Fast. Pace. Pace play yeah. here by Westwood. It's a, a tongue twister there. Start off. Good defense, too. Number 12 is doing a good job on Norwood's big man. Number 22 is bringing it down Patrick strong. Patrick Ote. Said his name a lot Patrick early on in off. the first minute goes and a half as he has four of Westwood's points. Patrick goes to Deerfield, wants to go to Harvard University, and plays flag football. This is the second year in Metro West and fourth year for WBA. That's another basket for Norwood. And it's Ote bringing it up. A lot of ball movement early on here. Not as 30 much dribbling. 30 with the shot, back rim and out. That's Good a jump, fight yes. for the rebound. Yeah. We got a quick Great jump count. ball there by uh, the Subs officials. are checking in for Norwood. Very uncharacteristic sub. No buzzer, no whistle, no nothing. All right, let's see what Westwood's got. Westwood's lining up in a stack position. And a box, a box. And, uh, little Norwood coach getting a little, little confusion there with the uh, fouls here. Slap of the ball. Coming across, number 12, into 22. Ote. Back to 30s. Eyeing up the three ball. Decides not, not to. to. And we got three seconds on Westwood's big man, Connor Chi. Says here that Connor is already taller than his mom. He's 5'5. Five five. It's pretty cool. And one on the Norwood drive. See if he can make the best of this play. Got some quick, fast paced action so far. Something you don't see every day is Connor is a competitive swimmer. It's very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Especially during the winter season if he plays basketball. It's a lot. Yeah. No, yeah. We got five new subs in here for Westwood. We're going with a little bit of a smaller lineup. Let's see if they can outpace Norwood. Free throws up, and Good. he completes the old-fashioned three-point play. Very, very high scoring early Number on. Number two, Only Quinn two and, Mulvey comes two and really in. quickly down the court. This is off number four. 
back to the top of the key. Number 10, taking it strong to the right, puts it up and gets it. That is Antonio Clampa with the layup there. Very nice there, layup there. Antonio goes to Deerfield and would like to play, and would like to go to Duke. He also plays soccer. Nor with the shot up. Good board by 41. We got a fast break opportunity here. Up to number four. To Basel. Oh, just gets caught under the rim. Unfortunately for Westwood, Basel cannot finish, but it's always next time. Got a strong take to the right by number 23. I believe, I believe the call Patello. was before the shot, uh, though. Yeah, it was. It was right. on the floor. So we're going to have an out of bounds play here right. for Nord. See how Westwood de defends. Number four for Nord inbounding so, it. Slap of the ball. Green. Couple cuts. Oh, number what a one play. gets open. What a play. Finishes it off the glass. It's a very tight game we've got that here. That was so Jakari Brewington with the layup. Let's see how. Let's see how Quinn decides to run the offense this time. Nice crossover. A little bit of a pick and roll. Can't get anything going. No one's coming back. It says here that Quinn would like to go to UConn or Providence. And what a layup by number 13 on Nord. That was Garrett Ord. Garrett Ord. And defense is optional early on here, as the score is 11 to nine. Quinn not even halfway through nice the first. Nice jump. And it's 11-11 as I say that. From the free throw line. Quinn plays soccer, football, tennis, and golf. Got a five-star athlete here in Quinn Mulvey. James, the pick, James. We got 4.24 left in the half quarter. Ti all tied up 11-11. A lot of fouls early on as well, too. Three I mean, to three in that three category. Three to three, and after seven and a half, they start shooting free throws. One and one, and then 10 is um, two shots. But. Correct. 42 for Westwood inbounds it to Mulvey. 42 is Ty Pindell. He goes to Deerfield and would like to attend Michigan University. He plays soccer, baseball, and football. Michigan, very, very cool university. The Big House, one of the most famous football stadiums in the world. And whoa. Good job by Westwood there. Neither one of them wanted to give up the ball there. I believe that's not no letting get, Not letting Norwood get any easy possessions. A couple subs here for Norwood. Unconventional, they're not going up to the half line, but. It's a little weird, but. The refs don't seem to mind, so it's all right. Uh, that's 14 bringing up the ball for Norwood. That's Lucas, Lucas Rodriguez. Rodriguez. The nice long sleeve undershirt. Good not job something by, you see every day. Yeah. It's a good job by 41 on defense there. This is Ryan Williams, who like to, goes to Sheehan, and you like to go to Brown University. It's a very hard school to get into. Yeah, Got big, big hopes and dreams big for us. Good for him. And what a Balls pass to, to number 42. And Ball's up to and Tries to finish, he gets rocked. and one. He's going to be shooting two shots. <laughs> the, both these teams are on pace to early in the half to start shooting free throws on fouls. Ty has an older brother who plays for the seventh grade team, and younger brother can't wait to play basketball yet. Free throws up, and good. Very nice, nice form, form, yeah. Very nice form. Ty Pendell has met Jason Tatum, Kyrie Irving, and Ray Allen. And thank you to our sponsor today, the Woodland Road Designs, an interior decorating firm out of Westwood. Thank you for your business with Westwood and for sponsoring this game today. Second one will fall for Ty. Number one, Ja'Cory Brewington with the rebound for Norwood. High arcing shot for Norwood, un unable to score, but an offensive rebound. Norwood's calling for a timeout. Get the I mean, get the timeout in. Good timeout call by Blue as they were gonna get three seconds there in, in less than a second left. We have 322 left in the quarter. The score is 12 Westwood, 11 Norwood. They're both on pace to score like 70 points, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Yeah, for a fifth grade game. So I'm, sure, I'm sure both coaches will talk about defense a little more. And I don't know if we'll hit that, but. This is a very fast paced game. Mm. You got to be worried about the fouls. Yeah. Can't have anyone fouling out early on. Fouls will haunt you in the end. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even just seven, one and one, it's. Both these teams are very strong shooters. Their free, free throws. Yeah, they'll definitely make their free throws. Isn't that right, Gio? Yes, sir, Adam. The head coach for Westwood's team is Seth Barnett. Seth Barnett. His son, Max Barnett, goes to Sheehan and would like to go attend Duke University. And. Max's sister, Kendall, just started her first year in the WBA, second grade. 
Let's see their inbound play. Norwood has some smart inbound plays, but Ty Pindell there to intercept the pass and Mulvey fast pace coming up the back floor the other way. The Ty Pindell wide open for three. He's gonna take it. He shoots it. And he's gonna rim In it and out. out. A little fight for the and rebound. It like Norwood traveled Norwood there. Norwood comes down with it. Rebound. And Taking wild shot no there. Call. Offensive rebound. Number out to four. Rodriguez. Whoa. A trip on Westwood. It'll be two shots for a bit of an out of Rodriguez. Control play there. Another substitute for Norwood. You can tell right off the bat, both these teams are very experienced. Obviously, yeah. fifth grade, so they've had a year under their belt. But the way they started, you'd think this is midseason or even playoffs with the way, with how fast the play has been. And that's the first for Rodriguez. Starting the season off strong, coming out of the gate. That's how you want to see it. Yeah, both sides, both sides. A little communication between the refs and the Norton coach on With the free the throw free violations throw rules. You can step over the line after you shoot the ball. You can jump over the line. Jump over the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth grade, you can step over the line, but if you jump over the line, you cannot. High go arcing the free throw. Are we gonna have a violation here? Gonna hit the rim. Mulvey brings it up the floor. Both coaches very vocal. Start early on. Good coaching. Oh, what Good a Good cut by Mulvey. Brings it back out. Good crossovers. Pindell fight, fight for it. Pull up shot. Oh. And it's good. We got a great shooter on our hands That's here. That's a with nice Pindell. jumper out of the big man there. This is his second year in Metro West and his fourth year in the WBA. Come on, Jared. As is every single one of his teammates. I find that very interesting that. Um, Ty Pindell has met Jason Tatum, Kyrie Irving, and Ray Allen. It's very cool. Yeah. Love to meet them. Maybe, I mean, we've seen early on that he's looking like Kyrie with these shots yeah. out here. Or should I say Ray Allen with the most threes in NBA history. Yeah. What a crossover. Un unfortunately unable to finish, and Norwood gets the rebound. Fast pace back the other way. Going to keep dribbling in, number 10. Take the shot. And, and out of bounds, Westwood, Westwood ball. ball. We got five, five in, in five for out. Westwood. We got 33, Max Barnett, 40, Liam Williams, 34, Harrison Hayes, 22, Patrick Ote, and 30, and uh, 35, Ethan Butner. Nord's already had five fouls in the day. Let's see what Westwood can cook up coming out of the side of Brown's play. They line up in a it's box, be box formation. Yeah, box, pick a cross. Cro pick a cross, coming back, 33 looking for it. Oh, what Good an interception. Good pick off by Nord. Coming back quickly the other way. Oh, what a block by That's Westwood. Good hustle by Westwood to get back on D. Body's on the floor for Nor Norwood. You're going to have an out-of-bounds play here. Westwood matching up. And Norwood is calling for a sub. Number 14, Lucas Rodriguez checks into the game for number 15, Caden Sheehan. Refs have been very consistent early on. Making good calls both ways. Good 13, gets it. Fouls. Throws it off the backboard. Everybody's on the floor. Westwood controls the ball. 35 coming down strong, Ethan Butner. Backs it off to Patrick. Patrick with a strong lefty drive, can't make the layup. Rebound controlled by Nora. Nora bringing it back the other way. Sides to Rodriguez passed it out. Play with it a little bit at the top Slow of the it down. Key. Yeah. Score has very much slowed down since that first time out. It was, it was 12 to 11 with like four, with and three and a half. And we got a carry call. Since. That doesn't happen too often. Fifth grade. Patrick's bringing the ball down the court. He has two dogs named Mac and Shaq. He's also on there. a four, three. That is Ote, his seventh point of the evening in the first quarter. Ote is on a New England rank. And a steal by Ote. AAU team. Ready layup. He's got Let's nine go. in the opening quarter. Nine points, two steals for Ote. Can't get much better than that, can you? It's very good. And Ote getting involved again. 
Almost getting the strip. It's number four for Norwood. Danny Reen passing it out. Nice oh, what a take. Well, it's a good and steal Ote by Ote. steals it again. Ote Third steal of the game and a wide court. open layup. Lefty layup is Finishes good. It. And that's an early 10 point lead for Westwood as they have, they've just, since that three by Ote, I maybe a minute ago, they've, they've been they're on on nine, nine straight, nine straight. Six, nine straight? Six, or is it? No, it's uh. Yeah, it is nine straight. It was 12-11. It was 12-11, first time out. Good math, Adam. Thank you. Sharing some of my math skills with you and with everyone watching. No, drive to the hoop. That might have gotten Layup's deflected. No good. Yep. And seven rebound, seconds left. put back, seven Let's seconds. See. Six, see if Ote gets another shot up. Five seconds, three, two. Fakes shot, pulls up for three. Oh. Almost. No good. At the end of one, it is Westwood 21 and Norwood 13. Jira, if you were both coaches, what would you be saying to your teams right now? I'd be talking to them. Westwood coach, I would be very happy. My team has come out, played strong defense since giving up 11 points in the Shooting first couple Shooting the ball minutes. well, too. Shooting the ball very well, driving hard and getting back quick on D. Um, on Norwood's side, I think they're doing a good job. Maybe a little bit more on the their Defense offense. Event. Yeah. They, offensive end. Well, their offensive end has slowed down since. Yeah, that's off true. Strong. That's true. And especially it's, on defense, not getting back quick enough. Yeah, Ote has gotten three really, steals since. The fast the break points frame. are off the chart. But you can't be looking at a score. It's it's eight minutes into the game. You still got 24 to play. You're down eight. That's four buckets. They made six buckets in the first quarter. We have quite a few people here who've. Uh, on West, kids on Westwood who have met uh, Celtic players. Um, Connor uh, Antonio Clampa has played one on one with Kyrie Irving. Oh, I've seen those, those camps with Kyrie Irving where he visits. Very cool. That is very cool. Yeah, and as we already said, Ty Pendell has met Kyrie Irving, Jason Tatum, and the legend Ray Allen. He wasn't like too much in Boston because of the way he left, but. It's a story for another day. Yeah. Jack, on the side, Jack. Look and Max Barnett met Kyrie Irving. Wow. Come on, Jack. Good defense here. Drive by Norwood. Yeah, that's a good call by the, the referee. Yeah, I would tell you, hit him on the arm. We have six fouls for Westwood and five fouls for Norwood. Next foul for Westwood is going to result in the one on one. Could close this game up a bit. And that's one to go down for Lucas Rodriguez. Number 41, Ryan Williams. Looks like he's trying to check into the game. Yep. Taking out Ote, Gets who's had a very he strong start. He plays lacrosse, soccer, and flag football, and has a dog named Timber. And get this, Liam Williams and Ryan Williams, twin brothers. Wow. And there he is. Number 41, Looks Ryan like Williams passes it to 44. William Williams, and William Williams with a strong take, but he got fouled before the shot. But he's in Twin chemistry here. here. Yeah, it's always good for a team when you Lock have good set chemistry. Lock setup picks down this time. Good drive there what by a shot, yeah. 33, Max Barnett. And next foul for either side is going to result in shots, no matter what, if it's on the floor or shooting. Yeah. Difference will be obviously one and one, where if you make the first, you get another. Yep. Um, versus two shots. Big man for Norwood. And tries to post up a bit. Can't oh, wow. get it. Sit off him. Westwood's coming down, number 33. It's Max. Let's see what he can set up here with the offense. This cool fluorescent pink shoes. Yeah. Bright colors, 40, very in style strong. these days. Good ball movement here for West with 34 with the jump shot, almost. Good board. What an offensive board by William Williams. You love to see it. Good hustle. And he double dribble. Oh, and he gets called for Unfortunate double Unfortunate after such a great offensive rebound. All right, we got four, four more checking for the game. We got number 10, number 12, number two, and number 30, along with who's already in number 41. Let's see. We can D up here on Norwood. The score is 23-15 with seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. Good D here by number 10. 
Job staying in front of him. Good fast what break. What a pass. What a pass. Splitting the defender. That was that was Klampa. Max. Klampa, sorry if that's mispronounced. Oh, it's coming back the other way. And he traveled like with it, yeah. Travel, yeah. yeah. You gotta put the ball down before you make your move, not yeah. after, unfortunately. An 18, there. that's gonna get called every day. Yeah, exactly. Refs have different different limits on the age level. Yeah. Obviously with division. eighth grade A team versus fourth grade or fifth grade B team. It's a totally different game. This is obviously fifth grade A team. So the refs will have pretty strict um, not too strict, but pretty strict uh, whistle. All the calls here. 14, travel, yeah. like he Once traveled, again. yeah. Wasn't able to control himself. <laughs> Went flying into the defender. Mulvey calling for somebody to inbound the ball for him. It's number 10, Antonio Clampa. He goes to Deerfield, wants to go to Duke, plays soccer. His brother plays Four, on the three. sixth grade travel team. No good. Offensive rebound by Connor Chi, though. He goes back up with it, he gets fouled, and that'll be two shots. And now Westwood is in the bonus. They are now. Yep, it was not shooting actually, but it will be one on one as they are now in the bonus. Connor's so at the line shooting. One, maybe two. One, maybe two. <laughs> depends on how good of a free throw shooter he is. Free throws are free throws are always that thing that you can practice more. It's all muscle memory. Doing the same thing every single time you get to the free throw line. Because it'll always be the exact same situation when you're there. Yep. And also, as you get into higher the levels, you gotta be able to control your nerves when you get into. High tense situations. Yeah, exactly. You see that a lot in the NCAA tournament. In the game coming down to free throws at the end. Yep. And unlike NBA players, they they aren't as solid with them. And that was a team foul right there. Multiple people getting hands in. Looks like we be got one on one for Norwood here. Um, a little confusion here on the court. A little confusion That's on the call there. Subs but. in and looks Rodriguez like. out. And, and Jackery Jacory. Jacory Brewington. Checking into the game. Nord does a lot of one and one switches but um into the game while Westwood does not. They usually do five in, five out or four and four out. Mulvey taking the ball down the floor. Trying to set up his offense. Good job. A little, a little wild with it, but. Looked like a Euro step there. Yeah. Ja'Cory bringing it up. Ja'Cory just absolutely. Pretty much ran over. He runs. <laughs> he runs Ryan someone runs. over, but it's a foul on Westwood. The second quarter may take a long time, as we are only 2.29 in, and they are already in the bonus, which will slow the game Ryan's down a little bit. Twin Liam plays the exact same sports as him: lacrosse, soccer, baseball, and flag football. They both wanted to attend Brown University as well. Pass up to Mulvey, a little and behind Mulvey the back. Loses it, loses gets it, it back. Gets it back. Runs the wild with it. Tries to go through the legs. And loses it. gets the time out. Gets the time out. Wow. The keep possession. That was an intense play there. Yeah, Mulvey it was. trying to do, do a some little bit too much fancy there. Behind the back still, ends up running his old man and then the Norwood defender. If I was coach, I'd be telling him, get some ball movement in. Uh, try to keep swinging it. And we're pretty much in the exact same position that both teams were to start the quarter, so it's not much different what you're going to tell them, as the timeout wasn't due to any momentum switches or anything of that nature. Just it was just trying to keep possession. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Because this level, you're not using all... How many times did they get? Three and a half, maybe? Two and a half? Not quite sure on that ruling, Adam. Yeah. Very good game so far, though. So we're back. Here between the fifth grade A teams of Westwood and Norwood. A little rivalry because the surrounding towns very yep. close to each other. Number Always want to get the bragging rights over the other. Number 30, Tyler, comes over to check in the ball. Um... Tyler want, goes to Sheehan, wants to go to Duke and plays baseball and football. A nice lead pass for Quinn Mulvey and on the floor. Looks like we so got a foul on the one floor. One and one, yeah. One and one still. Hit it. Get the 
Mulvey's rocking the all white looks with the all white Kyrie's. And the white leggings. Uh, very stylish look very these stylish, days. Yes. Yeah. Would I would say so myself. A lot of and NBA players do that it. these days. One and one, gets so one he one. gets another. Yep. Scores 24 Westwood, 15 Norwood. Westwood's continuing to try to add on to their lead throughout the second quarter. Small view no, the second free throw. No good. An offense rebound by Connor Chief. gets the rebound. He goes puts up it with up. it. Unfortunately, cannot finish it. Norwood running it down quick, nice and quick. Yeah. And we got a foul here on that was, that was just Antonio Clampa. Goes to Deerfield. Like to go to Duke. Plays soccer. You gotta start worrying about foul troubles for both teams. Both teams, yeah. We're not even halfway through the second quarter, and Westwood has eight fouls. Nor does nine. I think they. Fifteen can't connect on the free first free throw. He's got one more. As it was a shooting foul. Second one's up. No good. Front she front has this. Fourth, Connor with the rebound, rebound, passes up to Mulvey. Mulvey coming down the court, trying to start something. Nice, what a pass. An nice pass crossover pass. And Antonio Clampa. with a nice finish there on the righty layup with pressure on his back. Antonio's coming up to defend at half. Good job keeping his body, sliding his feet. And he Clampa gets the steal. with the nice interception. Passes it up. They can finish that. Three, so that's an finishes assist for Clampa. it. Oh, almost. She gets another offensive Connor, board. Connor, eating up the offensive boards. 30 throws up a tough shot. He's able to get his own rebound. Puts it up again and Mary's gets it. it. And Westwood is quickly taking That's control of this game. Good work by Tyler there. A 13-point lead early on. If you're Westwood, you just got to keep thinking about adding to it. Nord's got to start chipping away at it before yep. it's too late. But games can change very quickly. It's only a 13-point lead for Westwood, so you still got to keep fighting. Nine in, nine off. Five for Westwood and four for Norwood. As Norwood's unit there was getting a little bit outplayed, so the coach decided to um, make a sub, and Westwood was switching it up. Number four, Ganson brings it down the court. Ganson goes to Hanlon, like to go to Penn State, plays soccer, and has two older brothers. He enjoys kayaking and biking and playing golf in the summer. It's very cool. And what just happened there, Adam? Uh, it was a little wild run, and uh, I think he lost control, but got bailed out by a trip on Westwood, so it'll be one and one, or is that two now? I think because it's two shots. No, I think, it, I think, they, one one. I think it, they have it wrong. I think it's nine for each team. Nope, Can't connect I'm wrong. On the Sorry, first my one, bad. So. It is two shots. Uh, number 30, Tyler checks into the game for Westwood. 14, Lucas Rodriguez is taking a second free throw. Another high arcing shot. Gets it to drop this time. Ganson coming, down the, Ganson coming down the floor with it. See what he can set up with this offense. Passes off number 30, Tyler. Tyler's trying to do something. 35, Ethan. The nice fake by Ty Pindell with a nice pass. Ty Pindell gets the rebound, puts it back up, cannot finish. Norwood's going to bring it back up. And that is Rodriguez with Westwood. the ball. Rodriguez, a little in and out move. And that's a travel. And you got to travel. Again. No, it's got to start What's thinking that, about second or third travel the game? I think, yeah, at think least three. Third. There's been at least three on Norway. Yeah. They got to start dribbling the ball first and then moving. It's hard habit to break, but yeah. it's got to it's be done. Tie, top of the key. Passes it's a nice off. outlet pass. Very good. Back up to 34. Great ball Harrison movement Hayes. possession. Harrison goes to Sheehan. Would like to go to the University of Miami, plays Ooh. soccer. Baseball, tennis, and golf, and has a sister who just started her first year in the WBA. He likes to read fantasy books and won the fourth grade spelling bee. A nice spin move by Norwood's number 33. That was Anthony Kennedy. And a jump. It's going to be. It's 
going to be staying there for Norwood and a sub coming in for Norwood. That is number 15 on Caden Sheehan at number four off Danny Rain. Looks like we're doing a little bit of a zone here for Westwood. Because Norwood's lining up along the free throw line. Going back down the other way off an, of Norwood. It's an interesting set up there by Norwood. Number 35, Ethan passes the ball in, number 30. Ethan goes to Martha Jones, hasn't decided on college yet, as you would think most fifth graders wouldn't have. He plays soccer and baseball. And is related to Governor Bradford, Bradford, who came over on the Mayflower. It's very interesting. Wow, that's very cool. Lucas Rodriguez with the ball in his hand. Passes with a nice in pass man. in to the big man, cannot finish. Can't finish, 30. <laughs> Rebounds, finds 30. Ooh, fancy, through the legs. A uh, little bit of sauce on number 30 there, Tyler. Tyler's trying to run the defense. He's got a double pick and gets called for the carry. Number 30 there, that's Tyler Cortran getting a little animated because of the call, but... As, as some people do, it's okay. It's always next possession. Yep. Especially when forward. you have a 12 point lead right now, you're in control lead. of the game. Sitting pretty comfortably here. Last two of the half, they can now press both sides. A little wild with it. Nice rebound by number four, Basel Ganson. He's gonna bring it up. The nice pass. Baseball pass up to Ty Pindell. Shipping over bodies in the corner. It's Looks gonna be like a foul on a foul on 42 on white. That is Ty Pindell, and so Norwood will be shooting one and one, as that is the ninth foul of the first half on Westwood. Got a new five checking into the game for Westwood. Looks just about like their starting lineup. Trying to expand on their lead before the end of the second quarter. Once again, we thank Woodland Road Designs, an interior decorating firm out of Westwood, Mass, for being the sponsor of this game today. Thank you for everything you do for the Feels like Westwood. Rodriguez has lived at the free throw line in this first half. That had to be at least his seventh free throw. Well, NBA players don't get to the line that many times, yeah. let alone. It's a good thing, drive hard, draw the foul. Second free throw, second also free no throw. good. Uh, fighting for it on the ground. Who, who, Looks uh, like the refs are taking a very long time. Travel on something. Norwood, rolling around with the ball. That was a call on number 15, Caden Sheet. Let's see what Mulvey has this time for offense. Bring the ball down the floor, communicating with his teammate Patrick. Looks like he got a top of the screen pick. And pass is picked off by Rodriguez. Coming back down the other way is Rodriguez, full head of steam, gets the and one. Again at the free throw line is Rodriguez. And Gio, as I'm looking at this, at this roster, a lot of the kids from Westwood want to go to Duke. I, I, I'd assume that it has to do with their basketball program and many Celtics players being out of Duke. It's also a very good school. Yeah, of course. Rodriguez drains this free throw. Oh, some nice dribbling moves by Ote right there. A nice pass out to Fitzgerald. Or, it's not Fitzgerald, my bad. Williams. Ote tries to save it from going out of bounds. Said it was out before. Got a minute 13 left in the half. Norwood trying to cut their lead, or cut their deficit. Bounce pass to Rodriguez, loses control of it. Looks like Williams is able to control it. Mulvey coming back down, full head of steam. Very fast pace here, action. Loses it. That's a travel, yeah. That's a hustle play by number 23, though, James Unfortunately Pantella. for him, he's going to get called fall for the to the travel. ground. Yep, get called for the travel. Mulvey's I, I, inbounding. Teammate Max. Let's see what Max has for the offense. Let's, let's go. Kicks it to Ote. Ote with Ote the three. three. In and out. Quinn Mulvey. Quinn Mulvey finds and the that's rebound. That's a foul, and that's going to be and the 11th on Norwood in the first half. We're going to be shooting two free throws here. <laughs> Again, fouls. Nord, since Westwood took a 12-point lead, Nord has chipped away a little bit. It's Number three 10 is checking into the game for Rodriguez. 
on Norwood's side. Let's see if Malvi can make his free throws. Let's go. Mulvey misses the first. So, and Chi, no, no, not Chi. That is Otay with the rebound who gives it out to Chi. She's going to dribble in with the what full height move. of Steven. What a layup and for Chi. And finishes. Chi. It's the 30 mark in the that first half. That was beautiful. There's not much Fans you can do if you're the opposing team. Connor with the, the pick. And gets called for the foul. Looks like he's going to be going on the free throw line. I think. Come on, calling something else. Blue ball underneath. I believe they called an offensive foul. That's why oh. they're not shooting. Okay. I, I, I didn't think it was an offensive foul. Yeah. It looks pretty clean to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you there, Joe. And a travel. And yep, another travel. travel. Yep. Picked up Norwood. his feet a little bit. You're the Norwood coach. you got to be telling your kids to stop traveling in the second half. That's at least five or six travels on Norwood in the first half. Let's Thank see. Looks like Westwood is going to be waiting for the last shot of the half. Down to Max in the corner. Uh, Back up to Ote. Ote, Ote got a three. Now, and he buries and it. He buries Ote, it. four, Very three. Very nice. He has had quite a half. Hitting the double digits, Mark. And Ote and smart Ote pulling the hand back. The half and, and that is a 14 point lead for Westwood going into the half. It is 33 to 19 Westwood. The end of the first half. I'm Adam Traster. I'm Michael Giulino. And on to the second half we go. Welcome back to Thurston Middle School. And if you just yeah, joined us. Guy. This is Basil Ganson. We, today, this is the Westwood foul versus on the lane. Good drive there. Looks like Ty will be shooting two free throws. And Ty was showing us his stroke in the first half okay. on the free throw line. He's very nice for him. Good steady, Look just runs from there. Needs Not a little more power. bend of the knee there. Yep. Once again, we thank our sponsor for today, Woodland Road Designs, an interior decorating Watch firm out of Westwood. It's very local. Second free throw, yeah. just, just missed. Off. And good fight by Williams there underneath. Can't get it though, Nord coming back down. Strong to the right, yeah, and a little fire. bump from the back from Antonio. We already have two fouls, something that there was a problem with in the first half. There was over 20, there was 20 fouls, I believe, in the first half. We already have two in the first 24 seconds. So it seems like a theme for the game that will not be changing in the second half. I uh, overheard the Westwood coach at halftime talking about um, foul trouble and telling his teammates they need to think about it, but you can't really change the way you play because yeah, of foul exactly. trouble. You still got to play hard and play your game. I mean, Westwood, Westwood was up 14 at halftime. I don't think they should be going to try and change their game just because they fouled a lot. Like, if Norwood's not going to make their free throws, no need to stop. There's just, yeah, no need to. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, no need to change the way you play just because you're fouling. Yep. That's, that's a problem for later in the game. Good D there. But what a finish but by Norwood finish. right there. Yeah. Cutting the deficit to 11. Got to just keep chipping away at it. Antonio running the offense this time. Passes it off to Ty. Ty looking for the. Ty Pindell just takes it to like the left side. Oh, That's Ty a very Pindell. nice play. Let's see him shoot his free throw this time. That's very nice. Good, strong move. Yep. Put the cool yellow socks on. Yep. Maybe they're good luck socks. Maybe we'll never know. Shut us up and good. Finishes the old fashioned. Ty Pindell has had a fast start to the second half. He's had a great game so far. Yeah, very. Very strong game. Norwood bringing it Pretty down. Much everyone on Westwood's had a strong game thus far. Ty's doing a great job in that corner with Norwood's big man. Rodriguez coming back. A little wild with it. I think, and he got, I think he got bailed out by the ref there. It looked like he traveled with yeah. it. It's already four, a minute and eight in. Already four fouls. This is the third game today at the Thurston Middle School and the third game on the Westcat TV channel for the media center. Rodriguez puts a free throw up and drains and switches it. It was a very nice free throw. Number 30, Tyler checks in to the game for number 41, Ryan Williams. And he makes the next one, and it is an 11-point game. Er, 
Let's see what Westwood has this time. Bringing it down, number 30. I think they forgot to add Tyler. it. Tyler. And maybe I'm just, maybe they added it before I realized. I think you're going crazy, Adam. <laughs> I think I am too. Harrison controlling the ball off the tie. Oh, tie gets and stripped of the ball. That is number 15 on Nora, bringing it back up. And, and out of bounds, staying here. Yep. That was Caden Sheehan on the steal. And number 21, Jack Mullen, coming out of the game for Jakari Brewington. Number one, checking back in. And Ford nice with play a little bit of inbound. a box here. Nice play. And can't can't get the shot. Tied with the Ty rebound. Pindell bringing it back Ty's up. Ty's pushing it up the floor. Ganson calling for it up the court. Can't get it. Back up to Antonio. Antonio's trying to set up Wolverine offense here. Could have settled for a three, chose to not to, right. chose to drive it in. Almost. That's it's a good 15. take there. You got yeah, like to see that. It was, it was. It was a good, strong take. And another foul on Westwood. And foul on Tyler there. So I know we were saying you don't change the way you play, but he already can't, three on it's Westwood. It's not a good foul. You can't be committing those fouls. Yeah, it's already three half on court. them in the half. And, and we're only 158 into the game. It's Westwood coaching. Going to have to do something about this. Looks like we got some... New Subs personnel coming, in, yeah. coming up, checking in. Antonio doing a good job on defense there. A nice shot there for Norwood. And Gets his own rebound. That Ganson is number can't 14. Get the rebound. Ty trying to Rodriguez can all finish. Not Rodriguez. It's a wild possession that's, here. That's your core. It's a not. travel. It's another, it's another travel on Norwood. Right. You Something got five that they more were in here for Westwood. With. See if they can, they can get some offense going here. Looks like. Ote will be bringing it up. And Ethan passed it in. Let's see what he's got for offense this time. Brings it up. His pan motions. Passes it off to his right. Max Barnett. Back to Connor. Connor, Connor with, a with a nice move back. hesitation pull and pulls up for two. Extending nice the Westwood lead back to 14. Nord coach imploring on his team. Let's see what Nord has this time. Possession. To keep shooting, Rodriguez, shoot a little more. strong to his right. That's a great job on de for defense by number four, Williams. Good Some, board by tw Connor. Passes it up to Max. Max looks for the shot. Ote takes it Ote. and just barely front rims it. Something looks like it's going to stay Wolverine possession, though. Something we haven't talked about much today is the defense because it's been such a high scoring game, but Westwood, the second half they've so far. They've been doing a very good yeah, job. Yeah, three minutes and five seconds man. in, they've been having very strong defense. 35 with the shot, can't make it. Williams Offensive with the rebound. Offensive rebound for Williams, one of the twins. Back to Max. Max with the strong Westwood Big drive and, and it. makes it. I think this is their biggest lead of the day at 16. Plus they have come doing out of the a very, very good job strong. on offense and defense since the half. Coaching did a very good job. Rodriguez buries it. He's been he's been their strongest he's, player. He's their today, best player yeah. so far. See what Ote has. Ote has been a very strong player for Westwood thus far. He's bringing it down double the court. digits, multiple Passes steals. it off to Williams. Let's see, back to Ote. Ote, Ote pulls up, line for three. up to three. Oh, Can't in get and it. out. And Connor Chi tries to put it back in, but can't get the rebound finish, and, and Norwood gets, gets to hits it. around. Let's see what Rodriguez has this time for the Norwood offense. And that, yep. Again, it looks like he's always going to his right. An offensive foul on Blue. Wow. They do add it to a team foul, but I. Do, is it supposed to be added? It, to it's a team, team foul. It counts. It, so it counts as a team foul, just obviously because it's offensive, it won't lead to free throws if they were in the box. I believe so, yes. Westwood buries another Nord shot. bringing the ball down the court. A little bit of a hesitation there by Rodriguez. If I was Westwood coaching, I'd be telling my defenders to force Rodriguez to his left hand. Looks like he's, he's always at the free throw line. He's always going to his right and drawing the foul. I'd uh, See what Rodriguez has at the free throw line. Oh, they're high arcing free throw. Can't get it to fall. Westwood's got a uh, 16 point lead here. Let's 
Rodriguez with the second free throw. Is it in? Connor with the, no, Ote with a very nice rebound. And a great pass up to 35. Left-handed shot, can't get it to go. Connor, Connor fights Chi for with the, the rebound. rebound, though. And it's in His intercepted pass is off by, by number 10, 10 on Norwood. And a wild Ote, shot, but he gets I don't know about bodied it. hard. Nah, I think he did. I think I, think I couldn't see. Call. The ref was in my way. Viewing angles, Gia. Guy, wrap your neck around the play a little more. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. I don't have a screen with 12 different camera angles in front of my face. Well, you, sh you, you should get one. Free throw is good for number 10. Let's see. Uh, Rodriguez is coming out of the game. I think that's because foul trouble. Second Another free throw is free good. Nord's been doing a good job lately, cutting into Westwood's lead. Look down, look down. Williams coming across, couple handoffs, back to Ote. Ote. Ote with a strong nice take move. to the hoop. Can't Unable get it to, to go. Finish. And Nord gets the board. Pretty even third quarter. Westwood came out firing, but Nord has uh, has played stronger since. Another offensive rebound for number 10. And Atkinson. a great pass to Jakare. Cannot finish Connor with the rebound. Westwood's trying to move the ball up the court. Good move by Ote. Back to Chan. Can't get it to go. And Staying it's going to stay Westwood. Westwood ball. Westwood's been doing a great job on the offensive and defensive boards here today. Come on, guys. Got 2.45 left to play in the third. And there's That's another one. Play. That's Williams into Ethan for the easy two. Back to 16 is the lead. For Nora, that's number 15, bringing the ball up. 10, back to 33. Westwood defenders doing a great job Jacore, staying in front Jacore, of Brewington. all of the Norwood. Uh, I don't know I about it was that before ball the shot. There. Yep. It's before the shot, and I don't know. Corey kind of ran into the Westwood defender. Got five new in here for Westwood. Number 10, number two, a little number bit of 42, a smaller lineup number 30, here. 30, and number 41. Th that is Wynn Mulvey, uh, Antonio Clampa, Tyler Corchin, Ty Pindell, and the other Williams, Ryan Williams. An offensive rebound goes to Jaquari Brewington, who buries the layup. 44 Mulvey 30 coming here. up the court. 14 point game. Passes it off to Williams. Williams, fake, kind of. Wild does a shot. Bit of that a, is a travel, but it was an uncalled by the referee. I there. don't know if it was a travel. It's like he dribbled a bit. Ty with a nice up fake, dribble, and finish. It was well executed by Ty Pindell. Gio, just to indoctrinate some information into you, he threw it up, didn't hit the rim, and caught it. So therefore, it is a travel. But it's okay. I don't know about it. It's, it, it's okay. All right. I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. Okay. Even, even though I'm right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we got number 15, Caden <laughs> Chi in here at the free throw line for Norwood. Got 149 remaining in the third quarter. 46-30, Westwood is up. Norwood's got to start chipping away at the lead if they want a chance to come away with the victory today. First free throw is up. That's going to help. That's good. One free throw. We've seen some very good free throw shooting so yeah. far today. Yeah, we have. This, this half, Westwood has already in, Westwood has already caused Norwood to be in the bonus. And that was close to me, a lane violation as he makes the second. That was. Bindell inbounds it to Mulvey. Mulvey coming down the court. Mulvey, a little bit of a crossover, in and out. And, and loses it, but loses Klomp it. is there. He's there. Klomp is there. Pulls One dribble up to his right, pulls two. up, can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Rebound, Gives back it out to, to Ty Pindell. We know he is a shooter. Oh, what a move. What a move. Unable to finish. Nord's coming back down the court. Westwood Nord's has got done a good job right getting, coming back. And, and it's eighth foul of the quarter for Westwood. You got to be thinking. That. Yeah, you got to be thinking about something to change because someone's going to foul out or something if nothing changes. Coach is talking to Mulvey and Clampa. Probably about fouling, probably about tempo of play. Nord's first free throw is good. He made like three or four in a row now. Yeah, it's pretty good for fifth graders. I can barely make three in a row. Yeah, well, we know you need to work on your basketball skills, Gio. Thanks, Adam. 30 on the right side. As Tyler pulls up, but 
It was before the shot, and they are not in the bonus yet. So it'll be on the court. From out of bounds. I think if Nor Nord really needs to cut the game to like eight points or so with like five or six minutes left for them to have a chance. Because Westwood doesn't see any, I don't see any sign of Westwood. Mulvey with down. the righty layup, can't get her to go. Coming back down. And Good hands by Clampa. Antonio. Clampa's Looking for help, takes it all the way himself, can't get foul. it to go, but he will be shooting two free throws. It's a very nice play by Clampa. He gets a steal down on the defensive end, brings it up. Gets the line, shooting two. Clampa with the first shot here. Nice dribble routine. Uh, a little more, he needs a little more arc on his shot. Front rim, yeah. rimming. Yeah, a little, more, a little more in the knees. Let's see if he corrects that for the second. Looks like he did. Yep, yes, and, sir. and the results show it. Norwood's coming back down, Westwood's Dean up. Antonio's doing a great job meeting his man right at half court. Forced him to do his weak hand. Pull up for two for Norwood, unable to finish. And good and rebound Tyler. there by Tyler. Tyler bringing it up very fast pace here. He's gonna think about the three. And, and he's got it! It was for three! What and a that play. is the largest lead of the evening Westwood for Westwood. 50, Norwood 33. Westwood is has put up 17 points this quarter. It's very good. If you're a Nord coach, you gotta be. And Mulvey with the ball hawking defense there, unable to gain possession. Nord's gonna take three. a three of their own and in the corner. Almost gets a wedgie in there. <laughs> Antonio with the rebound. Antonio bringing it down all himself. Ty, he's Pass able to control Ty. his feet, stay in bounds. Ty's gonna go in, you know it. You know Righty, it. And, and no good. Can't get it to fall. He Fights keeps it alive. Rebound, almost. You got Williams coming down. And a and foul, and one! Count it for Norwood. No, I think they're calling the foul on the floor up here. Oh, so, so I just got a little excited for no reason. That there. foul's on Mulvey, that has to be his third or fourth. But honestly, that's a smart foul. You think about it like this. It's one and one instead of being an and one. So, like if it adds you, a foul, you're up by 17. Still is. Still in foul trouble, though. Well, there's five. You're right. There is only... You fell yeah. out of five at this level. So three is okay, but once you get to four, that's that's problematic. 33 with his first free throw. Can't get it to go. Norwood gets a rebound. Puts it back up. Uh, Unable to finish. Gets the offensive rebound. Puts it back up. And, and Tyler finally Corson gets comes away with it. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Throws it up. Whips it up. Unable uh, to get it get to go. go. It's a high-paced action do. half. We gotta put Westwood. 17 more up more than what Westwood pulls up. I think if Westwood can just get six, five or six points this quarter, they could probably seal it because if you think about it, Nord needs 17. And the most of And they, and so if they're 23 points in a quarter is very tough to do yeah. at this age. Very well, tough to do. Westwood had 21 in the first quarter, so. Yeah, that's it's, ridiculous. So he, the defense has got to be there for Norwood and a little more offense. And if you're Westwood, you're saying, keep up the intensity, keep up the defense, get a few baskets, and we're gold. Yeah. Seems to me like Westwood's really just outpacing. Yeah. Norwood. And obviously watch the fouls, though. Yeah. Because you don't want to That could, co could really come back to Gontham, start slowing down the game. Norwood gets to the free throw line, starts knocking down some free throws. You never know. up this uh, lead Westwood has. Let's see, we got Ty, Williams, Tyler, Mulvey, and Antonio in for Westwood. A little bit of a smaller lineup, which has worked for Westwood, really outpacing their opponent. Eight minutes remaining in this game. Danny Reen for Nord. The clock is starting. This is Lucas, Lucas Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Again to the right. Oh, with a nice crossover. crossover. Puts it up. Unable to get it to go. And that's Tyler with the rebound. Tyler isn't the tallest player on the court, but he is a very good rebounder, as he has gotten multiple today. The ball seems to find the ball. Yeah, exactly. It's a good, uh, good quality skill. And to what have. a steal. And as you're saying, the ball finds him a lot. He gets a steal, dribbles and to the hoop, and gets stripped, but it'll stay with Westwood. It's a great quality to have as a uh, guard. If you can be a great rebounding guard, you're going places. Uh, as Russell Westbrook is a prime example of that. 
Terry Rozier is a very good rebounder for the Celtics, and Definitely. he's a guard. Maybe of things to come for Tyler. Surprised with all the uh, Celtic players these Westwood kids have met. Nobody's met Terry Rozier. Yeah, Terry Rozier. It's been a little strange this year. Kind of, kind of hinting at trades. I don't know. Kind of sketchy. Definitely. He's a good player, though. Rodriguez Scary Terry. once again at the free throw line. Let's see if he can finish on these. I'd like to get a stat to see if he's had double digit free throws today. Oh, I think he, he definitely has. It's five trips to the line. Definitely. I know he's I know he's at least had eight. Got a new five in here for Will Westwood. We got Williams, Ote, Basel, Ethan, Jansen. Basel, and um, Harrison Hayes. Second free throw for Rodriguez is good. And we got Ote bringing it down the court. Let's see what he's got for the Wolverine offense this time. Takes it himself. Great pass to Williams. Puts it up. Can't get it. Can't get it to go. Great rebound by 34, though. Puts it up. And Westwood still retains possession. Back to Ote. Eyeing up his defender. Takes it again. Puts it off the board and gets it to go. That's a great possession there by Ote. Feels out to this defender and takes it to the rim. Shot up for Norwood, short, and Going smart down. Westwood defenders just let it run out of bounds. Ote coming down again, full head of steam. Ote, Nobody yeah. picks him up, coast it, to coast, and good. What a finish. That what might be the play of the game Ote. right there. That, that was some record that was time very to get from hoop nice. to hoop. And, yeah, and Norwood's, Norwood's going to take Norwood's a timeout. Not too happy with his Six team so far this remaining, quarter. remaining, and they're down 20 points. Not much you can do if you're Norwood here. Not not much time remaining. They need to score three points a minute without letting Westwood score the rest of the game. Westwood's been doing a great job so far this game. I think if Norwood doesn't cut it to 12 or 14 with five minutes to go, I think Westwood can... Obviously, you don't want to start your celebration early because because you can never let your mindset be off the game and off not being focused. But, Definitely. But maybe the fans. I'd be interested to see where this Westwood team goes. I know it's just the first game, but to me, they're looking very good, outpacing their yeah, and opponents, especially, shooting very well. Especially with Ote being on the number one ranked team in New England and going to the National AAU it's very tournament. Cool. That was very cool. Also, don't know if you mentioned this already, but very fun fact that Quinn Mulvey can name almost anywhere an NBA player went to college. How did I miss that one? That is very cool. All right, let's see what Norwood has coming out of the timeout. 21, Jake Mullen passes it to, into Rodriguez. Rodriguez off to Anthony. Anthony with a little crossover, kind of a floater-ish shot from the free throw line. Can't get it to go, and 21 Jake Mullen can't haul in the all rebound. Ote is coming down, back the other way. Let's see if Norwood has an answer. Not as fast pace quickness. as the last possession for him. Off to Williams. Williams with a little wild bit of shot. Wild shot. Wild shot. Ote, Ote with the gets offensive board. rebound. Tries to go back up with it, gets fouled. Nope, no, gets, he travels with it, so no basket. Ja'Cory Robinson coming into the game, checking him for number 33, Anthony Kennedy. Ganson almost the pick off. Some ball hawking defense here. They're putting the clamps on Norwood. This is but great. they get through it and finish. Is that the start of the run they need? Down 18 with six to go. You gotta get some stops, string together some stops. Ote bringing it down, eyeing up his defender, crossover at the top of the key. Passes it off to Harrison. Harrison playing with it at the top of the key. Off to Ethan, Ethan off to Williams. Williams back to Ote, Ote. Strong drive, can't get to where he wants, turns around and shoots and doesn't, can't make it fall. It's Rodriguez bringing the ball up again. Let's see if he gets his 12th, 13th, maybe 15th, maybe 20th free throw of the game for that. 35 with a nice, nice shot, can't quite get it to go. And Nord coming back hard the other way. Off to Jay. Ethan Butner goes for this. Goes for the block, cannot get it, but he disrupts the play. Rodriguez and puts it back up, cannot get it. Goes good to the board by Ote. He's doing a great Ote, job yeah. of that so far this game. 
Oh, what a pass by Ote. Cannot be handled, so it'll be Norwood ball. Norwood's got to get something going soon, or else Westwood will be 1-0. Norwood will be 0-1. I'm very impressed with Westwood so far this game. Yeah. Been doing a great and job think, on both sides of the ball. I think it's more unfortunately for Norwood that they start their season like this, unless obviously something happens where they have a giant run time again. But I don't. I think Norwood's a very strong team. I think Westwood has just... Westwood has some very, very strong players. Um, but I'm not sure if they meet again. Yep. Um, but if they do, I think it'll be be a good very game. good game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think give them some time. time Norwood having out. learned from the first experience. Yeah. Find guy. And a little confusion you. here. Inbound to Ganson. Ganson out to Harrison. Ote gives it to Ethan Butner. Ethan Butner Ethan. deep too. Ote with it in the corner. Drives. What a pass, Butner. Passes Butner. A little closer this time. Can't get it to go. And Norwood finally gets a rebound. Norwood run, ran the floor pretty well that possession, but couldn't get anything. Ote was anticipating that pass smartly by Norwood. They did not. And Norwood finishes. 16. Westwood hasn't scored in a little while. Yep. And, and coach realizing it. He wants to get some subs in, wants to talk it over with his team and make sure that, that they don't do anything. That group in there was pretty tired coming yep. down to the end. They were in there for a while, playing Warner. hard, playing quick, just like you should. This is the last game that will be televised today. That's it's the been a good day. Middle School Gym. We've had three good games. One game ended on the final shot. Could not get it to go, unfortunately, we had, for Westwood. What was it, fourth grade boys? It was fourth grade boys to start, fourth, fourth grade, grade girls, girls and, and now fifth grade, grade boys. boys. Great line up here. Yeah. Fun day of basketball at Thurston. Westwood coaching doing a great job in the huddle, communicating to the players. I think Norwood coach is probably just telling them just play, play. There's four minutes left. Just try and get some shots to go. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You played your game. And Westwood coach is saying just don't Got foul, don't foul, and just play your game. Five new in here for Westwood. Uh, looks like Mulvey's going to be bringing the ball up the court. He's been doing a great job this game. Bring it up nice and quick. Talking to his defender, uh, his teammates, communicating, passing the ball crew really nicely. Max doing a great job driving with his left. Back out. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler dribbling Tyler, in. Nice Puts play. Puts it up. Can't get oh, it to him. It, unable to get rim it to go. Rim, yeah, and the rim wasn't, rim wasn't too fortunate. Great job by Tyler fighting. Yeah. On the way back, getting that steal. Goes back in with it, and gets fouled. Got a blocking foul there uh, on number on one. Floor, but that's going to be one and one. Two. Yes, it is. And one and one, the first one and one for Westwood. Finally getting getting some free throws. Feels like Norwood's had all the free throws this game. Yeah, especially in the second half because they've been in the bonus since in like a few minutes left in the third. And this is the first time Westwood's been yeah. in the bonus this half. So Fair is it. Tyler, Tyler buries the second, first free throw. Getting a second opportunity to put some more points up right here. Uh, 3.39 left in the game. Score is 55 Westwood, 38 Norwood. Tyler with the second free throw. He's got it. Very two nice form yeah. right there on Very his free nice throws. Form. Results show that. Benthony's well. Lucas Rodriguez bringing the ball up the court. Williams doing a great job yeah, keeping great him off there. Yeah, great defensive stance right there by Williams. Mulvey ties and him Mulvey. up. That's, That's a travel. A travel. Yep. That is a travel. You cannot roll on your back with the ball in your hands. That is that against the rules. Great defensive possession there by Westwood. Westwood bringing it down, calling a play named Celtic. I think we've seen this one before. A couple layoffs. And pass gets picked off. And great steal there by number 33. He's got men up court. Tyler driving to his left, as he has a lot this game. And another rebound by, by Rodriguez. They double team him, I don't think. Up to Jacori. That's allowed. I think we got a double team call there. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. 
255 remaining. Westwood has put up a large score tonight, 56, which is, with time remaining, they can hit 60, maybe even 65. That is a very high score for a fifth grade. They're going to be very hard team. to beat this season if they can keep putting up numbers like these. Yeah. They had 21 in the first quarter. Yeah, I mean. If you can do that in a quarter. I mean, like I'd say the average score probably f between 40 to 55 a game. So if you know that you can put up more than 20 points in a quarter and you're down 10 going in the fourth, you, you hold them to seven or eight points, you have a very good opportunity to win the game. 13 with the free throw. Can't get it. Tries to go bank. It's not a bad strategy. Didn't call it, though. If he called it, maybe it would have won it. True. <laughs> Doing the little Ray Allen. Make sure it's going to go straight. It was a lane violation on White. So you get a Blue third free throw. A third free throw. A lot of them this game for Norton. A lot, a lot. And if I was Westwood coaching staff, that's what I'd be talking about. Team yeah, about. I think team this about. week at practice, you just got to knowing when. Knowing when to make smart fouls. Yeah. Um, Making sure you stay stand straight yeah. up with your defenders. Cause, and and just decisions in general, like the lane violation there. Obviously, it's not going to have an effect up on the game Mulvey. today. Up to Mulvey. Mulvey tries to pass it to Williams. Great pick off by Rodriguez. Rodriguez with a nice Rodriguez play. coming the other way. The Williams ball head of steam. He's crossing over everyone. Pass the ball out. Pulls up. Can't get it to go. Connor layup. doing a great job tipping and running the court there. Big men who run the court, that is a great job. You run rim to rim, you look Tyler for the ball. Tyler takes a step in from the three, pulls up and swishes it. It's a very a nice great shot second there. half here from Tyler, who has multiple baskets and many free throws. Rodriguez driving strong. Everyone. Rodriguez cannot finish. Throws it up, can't Puts get it. Puts it back up, and gets fouled. Looks like we got a foul on the rebound here. And Norwood's two checking in. three remaining here. Looks like they have only have eight players today, which may have been an effect on the game. Tiredness. Tiredness with Westwood running so much. Yeah, I think the pace of play is also what can, um, which we can. Um, what am I trying to say here? It's what can not damage other teams, but like allow Tired teams. Them can, out. Uh, yeah, tire them out and allow teams can to control games because. Westwood has had a very fast tempo today. And I think, in a Moldy way, you could gets say a rebound. Norwood hasn't been able to match it. And that's been a problem for them. Also, there's been like 10 or 11 travels <laughs> called on Norwood, which is unacceptable. Yeah. And called they for are, a double team. They're can't saying that. that Westwood can't press anymore because they're up so, by so much. Is that what they said? Yeah, huh. I like that rule because you, you shouldn't be able to do that. If, if, if you're, you're up by more than 10, I don't you're think you're blowing you can do a that. team out. It's it's not fun to be pressed if you're down by that much. But then again, Mulvey you could, doing a great job helping up. You could make the case that it helps back. both teams in the long run. Yeah. Well, like Westwood, there's no if they're playing it bad, there's no consequences for them, and it gives Nord an opportunity to see what it looks like. Uh, we got a fresh five in here for Westwood to finish out the game. Their starters, what I think are their starters, got, coming to the bench. Got a large a nice applause to ovation by the uh, crowd here, Thurston. Looks like a little confusion on the 20 point rule of whether you can press or not. And Rodriguez bringing it up the court. To his right, which he has Wild been with all it, day. Unable to finish. Yeah, and West, uh, I think the coach realized that they haven't tried to force him the other way, and he's been, luckily for them, he hasn't finished every single shot. And uh, travel call. traveled with it there. Um, but both teams can learn a lot from this game, get better. Both and teams are strong teams. Um, William Williams checking into the game for Antonio Clampa. William Williams has a dog named Timber, like his brother. They both share the same fun fact. And he is a huge Denver Broncos fan. Don't know. Not how happy that, about that. Yeah, I'm not very happy about that. Don't know how that don't would go that in my household, but uh, yeah. I don't know why you, you choose that way. Driving but. around, Williams off to Ty. Ty back out to Ganson. Ganson thinking about the shot. One dribble back. Ty but pulling Ty out for the three. three. Okay, get it to go. A little short. If he had taken a step in there, could have been money. Yeah. But you want to go for the three. It's just like, got, sometimes you just got to go for it. 
Uh, sure, Adam. Sure. Sometimes. It's my opinion on things. Okay. Yep. Nord's passing the ball around. 15 with the shot. And Over the back of backboard. Bounds. It's going to be out of bounds. I think we might have one or two more possessions, and buzzer will sound for this, this Great afternoon's game. game. Right yeah, very high West scoring with affair. An outstanding showing. First game of the season coming out. Very strong. Coming out not of gate much with rust. fire. And yeah, exactly. Really playing well with tempo and pace and Can knocking only down shots and doing a great job around the around the board. Can only imagine what they'll look like come playoff time. Yep. And a block. What a block by there by Williams. Williams. Great and job. And that'll do it. Dives and that's the, the buzzer. Great job. Westwood wins it by a score of 58 to 41 against Norwood. They will go to 1 and 0 on the season. And once again, we thank Woodland Road Designs and Interior Decorating Firm out of Western Mass for being the sponsor today. I'm Adam Traster. I'm Michael Givino. Thank you for joining us and today. And we'll see you next time.